Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a ambient pad in FM8, quite a versatile sort of sound. Uh, here's the sound we're going to do. And there's no actual automation with this sound, it's all just kind of modulations, what we've set up in FM8 to just give that, that paddy type sound a, a lot of nice movement. So go ahead and create a new sound in FM8 and let's set up some of these operators. And um, I'm going to be using operators F, E, D, and C, and B actually as well for this sound, and also the filter operator Z or Z. Um, so I'm going to route all these oscillators or operators to the filter as well. Um, so just drag them up to 100 there. And um, operator F, we're going to have a square wave and we're going to take the ratio going to half that ratio so 0.5 and um operator e is going to be a sawtooth and um i'm going to be this 2 2.5 for the ratio here and then just drag this up a little bit just to offset it a little bit just it's kind of detuning it very slightly um so just drag that up to 2.5018 and um, operator D, we're going to have a third four months. And um going to make the ratio free, but we're going to do a similar thing again and just drag it down, you know, just a couple there, just dragging it down by four, just to kind of detune that one slightly. And um, operator C, for operator C, we're going to have one of these uh, TX wave, TX wave eight, one of those ones. And um, same thing again, I'm going to have 1.5 as the ratio, but I'm just going to drag it down ever so slightly. And then for operator B, a soft triast it is tris, tristate. Sorry, pronunciation's a bit wrong there, but one of these ones anyway. And the ratio is going to be 1.5. <clears throat> so. And route the filter to the output obviously to get a sound and I do think with programming sounds in FM8 just getting a nice combination of operators and you know some nice relationships with the ratio just get that sounding relatively nice and warm before going and decorating it with a load of effects and taking the voices up you know the nicer you can get the sound to begin with the nicer it's going to sound once you enhance it further with these effects and you know increasing the voices and stuff so we've got the operators set up there what we're going to do now is start setting up some of the envelopes for the sound Right then, so for operator B, the envelope's going to stay like that, really. It's just kind of sort of hold hold the note of operator B there. And um, for operator C and D, we're going to link the envelopes and do something like this. Just drag the sustain out a little bit and just pull that sustain in. There. and just give the attack a little bit of a curve as well. So something like that will be fine, really. And uh, then on to operators E and F. And again, we're going to link these two. So hit the link button. So operators E and F, the envelopes are linked. And um, it's going to pull this sustain down a little bit so we've got like a sharp attack and then it decays and holds the sustain for a short while and just give the envelope a little bit of a release as well so we're getting some quite a subtle movement in the sound there and um next thing to do really is maybe look at the master and start beefing up the sound a little bit so increase the voices to four Take this pan of the voices up here, so we're going to sort of give the sound some nice width. Take the detune up a bit. And um, both these sliders, analog and digital, are going to drag. The digital is a bit like a, a bit crusher, so, you know, it's going to give some nice sort of distortion in the sound and drag this analog slider up. 
mm. about halfway uh digital bit bit more than halfway so we've got a nice kind of warm sound uh going on now so next thing to do would maybe sort of set up some some of the kind of modulation that we're going to do with the sound and um i think the way i did this was rather than although the modulation comes up here what i did was the easy morph and um gave the sound a bit of tremolo hit apply and if i go back to my modulator yeah and what it's done is that tremolo is basically just all of these operators lfr2 has been assigned to it and it's opera it's modulating the 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 volume of these operators so getting a slight sort of little bit of movement there what else i'm going to do here is going to um just pull the lfo up of the pitch modulation here to about 16 and this is on lfo one this is going to give a bit of a vibrato sound i'm going to sync the lfo as well take the rate up slightly And it's just giving it a little bit of a let's key sync it as well, so the the LFO is not free running. It kind of restarts with each each time we hit the key. And um, I'm also going to change the LFO shape to a four four man. So it's kind of a quicker sort of movement, really, as you can see the sort of shape suggests it's going to do that there. So. Uh, the next thing to do is apply some reverb, which is the only effect I'm going to have on this sound. So I'm going to take the time up a little bit and the bright up uh, a little bit just to give a nice bit of top to, to the reverb and the dry wet slice. So it's going to be quite a sort of wet reverb. Just kind of gives it a nice bit of space, that reverb. and. Um, Okay, what else do we need to do with this sound? Set the filter really. So go and hit the uh, operator Z. And what I'm going to have here is the mix of the two filters it's going to be all the way to the right. So the routing is going to be routed to filter two. Uh, but it's going to be in serial mode. So basically the sound is going into filter one and then through filter one into filter two and then to the output. So. I'm um, going to take the cutoff down here. Let's bring the resonance down as well. Um, move the spread up a little bit, you know, just a, just a little bit. Resonance of filter two as well is going to be halfway. And the mode as well of these two filters is all the way to the left, which is a low pass filter. And what we're going to do now as well is increase the envelope amount to 100. So now it's been this filter's been routed to the envelope as well so this is going to have an impact on the sound so and what we're going to do is we want it sort of nice and bright with the filter open at the start of the sound and then it's going to close over time and in order to do that we set the filter like this That's the uh, the kind of the sound, the shape of the sound, and um, a couple of final things just to beef it up a little bit more. Is I'm going to start doing some extra routing here with the the off with the operators. Just um, I'm going to feed B into C, uh, take up to 16, and I'm also going to feed B into D, take up a bit higher to 23 there. And then what I'm going to do is feed F into B, and this should change the sound a little bit. You could hear how much that was affecting the sound there as I dragged it up. So I've put it at 71, but you just do that to taste, really. And then um, I think that's it with the sound, really. Put it with a B.
So that's it, a kind of a, a, an ambient pad sound. It's quite a versatile sound. It wouldn't have to just necessarily be used in ambient music, but a nice way of getting a sort of nice paddy sound together in FM8. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, any suggestions for future tutorials, any sounds you want to see made on FM8, then get in touch and let us know. And thanks for watching. All right, see you again soon. Cheers. Goodbye.